Pet Dr. Mori Uncivilized Vitality packing list. This is for the Uncivilized Vitality Kids program uh, overnight, uh, which is coming up soon. So it's just a simple overnight. We're going to start in the late afternoon, and it's basically for the kids to experience sleeping outdoors overnight in a group setting with the other kids, of course, the parents, so that we can get ready for the event this summer where they're going to be out for a few, uh, a few days and a couple nights outdoors at uh, family camp. So you don't need a lot of gear to bring. Um, you can, this is what the kids need, and then you can duplicate this for the parent that is uh, coming with the kid to sleep. It's mainly about sleeping comfortably. We will provide, uh, Uncivilized Vitality will provide um, the shelter kits and the ground cover and uh, garbage bags for ponchos if necessary. If it uh, becomes like it's gonna be rain gear, we'll provide some garbage bags the kids can use as ponchos. They're only going to need a few pieces of gear. Uh, also, the knives. I will be bringing some. If, you're, if your uh, child that's attending has a, a small folding pocket knife, that's fine. But we're going to do some knife safety stuff at camp as well as fire safety. And I'll provide all of the gear. They'll need to come with just a couple things. One is they're going to need a headlamp or some sort of light source. I suggest headlamp because the kids can keep this around their head or around their neck or attached to their wrist at night so they always have a light source available. Uh, there'll be a couple glow sticks up to mark where we're sleeping so when they go to use the um, go number one or even number two in the forest they'll be able to do that. Uh, as far as the toilet kit goes I will bring uh, like a group uh, use kit like a roll of toilet paper it's just overnight so the kids should be okay. Uh, just go and pee in the woods and we will have um, glow sticks, but they need a flashlight or a headlamp ideally for each child and ideally for each parent. Have to have that. They will need some sort of water bottle. A stainless steel canteen would be great, but even just a regular um, one liter plastic bottle for, for this overnight event will be fine. They will, because we're not going to have to purify water. Um, just for the overnight we're going to bring enough water, but they need a water bottle that's labeled with their name on it or indicated in some way so they're not drinking off another child's water bottle. Then they're gonna need some sort of cup, again, so they know which one is theirs. You can get a camp cup like this. This is just, um, it's like a $10 cup from Walmart, just a tin cup with handles, gives the kids the camping experience. Or this is an insulated little plastic mug they can drink out of. Nothing glass, nothing ceramic. Make sure it's uh, metal or something that's not gonna break. It's something that's, uh, you know how kids are, this is gonna be insulated from their hands if they're gonna hold that. So we're going to have a nice warm drink at night after we eat, uh, something they can eat out of. So we're basically going to be um, sitting around at night doing that. So they'll need their headlamps, a cup, and a water bottle that they can keep near their bed. Now, having said all that, the rest of the camp is going to be about teaching them to stay warm, uh, avoid the four horsemen of misery, cold, wet, tired, and hungry. That uh, is a bane for everyone out in the woods. You can watch the other videos about that. But it's all about teaching them to sleep warm and build their entire outdoor experience over sleeping uh, dry and warm and comfortable if we can manage it. To that end, you will need a couple things for your child. One, a hat that they are going to wear at night. Some kind of stocking cap that goes into their sleeping gear. They're going to put it on when they go to sleep. A dry pair of wool socks. Big, heavy-duty wool socks. Your child may not sleep with socks on, but it'll be a little different outside and we're going to teach them how to do it. Socks and a hat. Then, some kind of dry sleeping clothes, either uh, pajamas they can change into or this uh, wool sweater, this ugly, ugly wool sweater that uh, I think Rendell found this at the, the thrift store. It's great because this is going to be super warm to sleep in. Between the hat, this nice ugly wool sweater, and a pair of wool socks, your child will sleep very warm, very dry uh, with the clothing choices. Next, they need something to sleep on. Some sort of sleeping pad. We have a few um, that we can provide. I'm not sure how many. Um, uh, Jill or Bonnie will know that before the, the time comes. We have a few sleeping pads we can provide inflatable pads or accordion style camping pads or you can always just take a wool blanket and, or their other blanket and just fold it in thirds they have a little bit of a sleeping a uh, little bit of a pad the main thing is going to be their sleeping bag they need a sleeping bag to sleep in 
Doesn't necessarily matter the ratings because in addition to their sleeping bag, they must bring a secondary blanket. They may even bring two blankets. There's a stadium blanket that's kind of waterproof on one side and it's got this soft surface on the other side. These things work great because you can fold them up as the ground pad if you don't have a sleeping pad. And then the other wool blanket is going to go inside their sleeping bag with them. Between the wool hat, sleeping clothes, and wool socks, and then inside the sleeping bag with the wool blanket laying on top of the cover, under their shelter with a, a parent and another parent and a child, should be plenty warm, should be plenty comfortable. So uh, it's really not a lot. They need the light, a cup to drink out of, a water bottle that is just theirs, and then a sleeping bag, two blankets, or one blanket and a pad, and then sleeping clothes, hat, socks, and um, some kind of sweater or pullover they can sleep in. It's better that they're too warm and then they can shed layers as the night goes, but you don't want to have the child be too cold overnight. So we're going to uh, take precautions mainly against that. The rest of the camping experience, the Uncivilized Vitality crew will provide so they can do the activities and um, go from there. As the parent, you will be allowed to bring a camp chair if you don't want to sit on the ground and then duplicate that gear for yourself because you will also be sleeping under the uh, tarp with the kids. If we run into a buggy situation, we will provide some bug nets to cut down uh, on the, the irritation of that because they go, they're suspended under the, uh, the tarps, but I don't think we'll have an issue with that. Um, really, I think that's it. It's going to be a pretty simple packing list. Just build that around what they're sleeping. We're not going to be hiking, so the kids will be doing like level three kind of car, well, level four car camping. When you show up there, we'll be able to move their gear right into their shelters after we get them set up. So just maybe a large duffel bag. Uh, or a backpack they can push those things into. If the kids want to bring any extras, um, like the, an uncivilized hood that they made, they can use that a lot uh, during the day, during the evening, and at night to kind of stay warm, and we'll uh, build on that. But that should be it. Just those things. So uh, as long as you're here watching on the packing list, make sure you subscribe to the channel and share the channel, and leave some comments because it helps the algorithm. And then have your kids watch this, the UV kids, so they can see the gear they need to bring. And uh, that's it. See you in a couple weeks.